We all have certain specific qualities we naturally or intrinsically like concerning music, whether we are engaging as composers or listeners. But making uninspired music will absolutely not be worth the investment of time and energy in economies where we are all paid less and respected less by the day. This means that to produce something truly worthwhile as a musician, you have to be properly inspired in order to not only bring the most powerful version of your craft to others, but to yourself first and foremost. Knowing yourself is the most crucial piece to your artistic expression, and as we grow, there will always be more about ourselves to explore, discover, rediscover, manifest, control, release, or integrate. Art that is made on a journey through, to, and as a result of understanding self, will more than likely become part of the depths of others' explorations of themselves. This is the true empathetic core to artistic expression. The spirit, soul, and body all function as a collaborative system with these individual systems checking and balancing one another. But the flow of this process can and will be interrupted or can even be corrupted by lack of inspiration. The lives and works of artistic greats that we as artists use as our histories and our philosophic or conceptual launching pads are proof that today's turmoil serves a critical purpose in the world of tomorrow. Inspiration itself is, in reality, part of an emotionally charged event network that extends unfathomably backward and forward through time. Inspiration is looking to reproduce itself through the artist in order to continue this chain of effect. To be truly and genuinely inspired artistically is a gift from the creator to be cherished, and the artist has an incredibly special place as the interpreter of this cryptic language from said creator, and so we seek naturally to embody the creator through creation, just as we seek intimacy with our deepest self and with others through the arts. This creator has modeled you after a piece of itself in this very same search for understanding. No matter what we are inspired by or through, the sensation of inspiration is nothing less than a divine resonance, and what resonates with you personally is determined by frequency or vibration, much like the musical note. To spontaneously experience inspiration is to be a natural leading instrument in the divine orchestration of the Creator, and what it is you feel, see, and ultimately create through the knowing of yourself is part of the Creator's song that will be heard for generations to come. Music can't be made from notes, words, or rhythms alone, but requires a poetic organization of these raw elements. Our deeply intrinsic, natural, cultural, and genetic understanding of these elements are what make our interaction with and organization of these elements unique in our compositions. How we conceptualize the organization of these elements, as algebra-like, geometric, or like a painting or photograph, will change and influence how we express ourselves musically before we even begin to write, rehearse, or record. The dynamic interplay of these fundamental pieces of a composition with how we conceptualize their interaction will entice an emotional response from the right people in the right place at the right time. And this reaction is a result of deeply emotional psychic resonance. Practice changing how you conceptualize the building of a song or manipulating conceptually what it is you think a musical composition should be and make it a reality. Shift your understanding of what a song is, not as just a singular creator, but as the creator itself looking to connect with itself through its creations. Music is meant to be listened to, so keep the listener's emotional experience of your composition as the thought foremost in your mind when composing. Remember that the first listener will be you, so first, seek to move yourself through your composition and your understanding of yourself and of sound. As musicians, the scientific technical craft behind our expressive poetic craft is our focus on building, honing, and manipulating our relationships to our ears and our skin, as well as how we implement our entire bodies as a fluid and actively communicating system with our ears as the focal point.
This becomes even more intense psychically with the addition of language or linguistics, which will naturally involve rhythm, tone, and texture through poetry, psychology, and personality. This involves active, meditative listening and understanding, or trying to understand more and more what it is exactly about musical composition that creates the resonant event we know as inspiration. If your composition doesn't manage to inspire you, sadly, chances are that it will have the same lack of effect when experienced by others. A musical piece is a universe inside of another universe, where that smaller universe is a unique reflection of the larger universe. A composition in the modern world is an abstraction created by an abstraction within an abstraction. As musicians, our relationship to our sense of hearing must be experimented with while also protected and cherished. When you listen, listen for attitude and texture, not just simply note content, rhythm, and lyrics. From these things, an active listener should aim to draw from a composition the unseen, unheard, or coded meanings that are outside of the world of things that are so easily replicated, communicated, or recorded. Creating an artistic thesis based around your expressive strong suit is a process, and starting now will give you more time ahead to enrich and fortify this thesis and its embedded philosophic meaning through experimentation and practice. The artist creates, changes, guides, and deducts meaning through their craft with artistic thesis. Just as we are reflections of the creator and part of the creator as creations, our creations have the ability to generate, operate, and destroy, just as the creator does. Through the arts, we can turn our turmoil and wounds into true wisdom, turning the lead that poisons us deep within into the gold that will be the emotional, psychological foundation for the psychic riches of generations to come. Live your life how you want and need to live it. Refuse to take the details for granted. In the end, the wellspring from which you drew your inspiration for a composition may surprise you. And you may be surprised with how your inspiration emotionally resonates with others who are looking for something special that only you have. Whether your inspiration be your experiences, the lives of others, works of literature, visual art, the works of other musicians, nature, technology, the past, the present or the future, or something deep inside with no name, Creation is an endless transmutative abstracting process of synchronous translations with ideas beginning in the imagination, materializing, and moving from one form of expression to the next. The arts allow practical yet amorphous and constantly changing applications of the limitless imagination. Through these applications we express comfort in our specific styles, and this can create comfortable connections with others. This comfortable connection is a form of psychic energetic resonance. Get inspired and resonate. Thank you for watching my first Patreon video and thank you to all my listeners who supported me. If you're interested in seeing and learning more, become a patron and you'll have access to bi-weekly music concept, music theory, and music production video lectures at patreon.com George Allen Gould II. My subscribed patrons will have access to exclusive content like private live shows, demos, Patreon exclusive covers that won't be published anywhere else, informational excerpts from books I'm reading, and short videos detailing pieces of my songwriting and music production process. Subscribe now because I already have things waiting for my first patrons. Thank you for listening.